Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart within cells in Microsoft Excel. So I've got some data here, and um, these are the items I've got, and these are the percentage of those items I'm selling in my shop. Now, what I want is for this information here to be converted into a bar chart looking information like this in sheet two. So I can either have this or I can just simply show it. So it just shows the bar chart instead of the numbers. So that's essentially what I'm gonna show you. Before I continue, please like, subscribe and share. So let's move back onto sheet one. Sheet one's here. I've got this information here. I want to convert this to make it visually appealing to my audience. So what I simply do, the percentage column or the com column you want to convert to a bar chart, highlight the values in the column there. This is the first method I'm going to show you. So highlight the values in the column, then at the top in the ribbon, go to home, scroll down to the right side here, where you see conditional formatting, click on conditional formatting there, go down to data bars here, and then just simply choose whatever um, layout or design you want for your um, bar chart there. So I'm gonna choose a solid fill there. Now what you can simply see now is it's added the chart but it's also got the number there as well. So for example, if I wanted to change the value in here, the chart will change accordingly as well. So this one for Xbox, let me change the value from 20 to 10. It will change the chart accordingly next to it. However, let's say you didn't want the numbers there, you just wanted the visual display, highlight the column, go back to home, conditional formatting there, go back to data bars there, and you can choose more rules here at the bottom. If I click on more rules, it'll bring this pop-up box here. Now in this pop-up box, simply turn this checkbox on here where it says show bar only. Click on that, click on okay, and it will hide the values and it will just simply show the data bar itself. So if you go in or highlight one of them, change the value in there, so let's choose 58 for this one, enter, it will change the bar chart accordingly. So that's the first way of showing you, or the first method of showing you how to add a bar chart within cells in Microsoft Excel. That's one way, using conditional formatting and data bars. The second way is to use the repeat function. So I've got the same spreadsheet here in sheet two. Now what you simply need to do in the third column, so these are my items here in the first column. The second items are the percentage of those items sold. So 100% of my um, headphones are sold. In the third column here, I'm going to add the formula which will include the, the chart. So the first thing you do when we do a formula is equals. Now the function I'm gonna use is R-E-P-T. Okay, so this repeats this text a given number of times. So for example, I'm gonna repeat this 54 times, this 20 times, this 30 times, so on and so forth, dependent on what figure is in this cell here. So here, I'm gonna repeat, bracket open. Now the, the, the character I'm gonna repeat is the lowercase g. Now well, this will make sense in a minute. Um, so I'm gonna do quotes, lowercase g, quotes again, then I'm going to repeat this letter this many times. So comma, highlight this cell here, then bracket close there. Click on enter. It will show you the letter G 54 times, which is exactly what I want. Now I'm going to copy and paste that formula all the way down here. There's a number of ways to do it. The way I do it is highlight this cell, go to the bottom right corner, drag your cursor all the way down to the last value there. So this is essentially what I have at the moment. Okay, so this cell shows the letter G 54 times, this one shows it 20 times, so on and so forth. But saying that, if I change this value here, 18, if I change it from 20 to 18, 
the number of G's in that column will reduce to number to the number 18. Now what you do is highlight this third column or the values in the third column here. Now at the top we're going to change the font it uh, the font type for this. So at the moment it's Calibri. Um, click on the down arrow. Choose now from the down arrow you need to find Webdings. Um, is a font type or I'm going to search for webdings in here there you go webdings click on enter now what it's done it's essentially changed the letter G to um, what you see is a, a bar for each value now the only issue with this it's basically um, because this the letter G is 54 times it's quite lengthy in this column here so what I want to do is reduce the um, length of this bar in each column so what I simply do is highlight the first value there go to the formula where I added the formula and this um, part here in the formula bar I'm going to divide every number by 10 and that will hopefully reduce the, the, the size of my bar in each column reduce it by 10 or a factor of 10 like this enter and it's reduced my bar in my first column here so copy that formula all the way down because I want to reduce it by a factor of 10 at each time like this and now that's more realistic that's more sensible and that's what I want to achieve so um, this will change based on the value in here so let's change this from 32 let's say 80 because we know the highest percentage is always going to be 100 that is appropriate now and let's say you want to change the color of the bar in each cell highlight the columns where the bar is go to the um, home tab at the top at the top where you see the font color change it from black to a different color or whichever color you think is appropriate so I'm going to choose green because that's my favorite color and there we have it so that's essentially a way on how to add a bar chart in your cells in Microsoft Excel. The first way I showed you how to do it via conditional formatting and using the data bar approach. The second way I showed you um, is through the formula repeat formula where you it repeats the number of characters as many times basically dependent on how many um, characters or what number is on this cell here. So that's a really quick and easy video there. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, subscribe and share.